Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today we have a very cool guitar. It's a little different than a telly, <laughs> but I love it uh, just as much. And uh, yeah, we just got this one. Uh, we used to have a whole wall of these guitars, um, vintage ones too, and then the secret got out and now they're all gone. But now we got another one. So this is pretty cool. This is from 1966, and it's a Fender Jaguar in Sunburst. Ooh, hoo, hoo. But an interesting one, uh, which we'll cover, but really cool. So since it's from 66, you got a couple things going on. Um, it's kind of transitioned into the CBS era. Um, so you're gonna usually find binding on the neck. Um, and this neck is absolutely great. It's just sturdy as they go and just sounds amazing. It's easy, easy to play. Easy to get your hands around. Another thing about this guitar is it was, it's a refret, but they did a great job. I was almost fooled that it was a refret because they really didn't mess with that binding at all. Um, so they did a great job, and it's great height of the frets as well. So the Jaguar has a rhythm selector, kind of like the Jazzmaster. So once this is up, this is your volume, this is your tone, this is all deactivated. When you go down, if all these switches are down, Everything is deactivated. You're not going to get any sound. And then it's pretty simple from there. This is your neck pickup on. This is your bridge pickup on. So if you have them both up, both are going. And then this is kind of like a bass cut at the end. Um, another different thing about this Jaguar is it doesn't have the mute. Um, I'm not sure if it came like that. I've never really seen a Jaguar without the mute. They probably removed it. Um, but still, it's a great guitar. But why I question that... The di most different thing about this guitar <clears throat> is that if you look at the heel down here, engraved is the word demo. Um, not lemo, but demo. Um, but a really cool um, kind of imprint on there, and it's also on the body. Now, I talked to Norm about it, and he said usually when you see that, especially if it's engraved, it was a NAM special. So it was kind of on display as one of the first ones. So in 66, this was probably at NAM. Um, being displayed as the the new CBS era Jaguar. Um, so I think it's pretty cool to have that. It plays great. Um, a little indent on the case. I'm not sure what that came from, but as you can see, it's kind of black right there. But it does have the bar, as you can see. And uh, it's just a great guitar. So we're going to take this one out front and see what we can do. But I think whoever gets this is going to like it. The, like I said, that neck is super vibey. So let's see what we can do. Let's go. Woo. We're off from with the 1966 Fender Jaguar and Sunburst. Really cool guitar. Um, a great neck on here too. Uh, we're also going through the Rivera Stage 4, also the Tallboy. Really cool amp. We're selling these now. We have two in stock and they sound great. Uh, yeah, we're going to start off on the Rhythm Selector. Let's see what we get.
Cool, now we'll go into neck wide open. See what we get. Cool, now we're gonna go to both pickups <laughs> together. There's a lot going on around me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we get. <laughs> to just bridge alone to a year.
There you have it from 1966. It's a Fender Jaguar in Sunburst. Uh, you can check them all out at normanjarguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemma. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.